What's up YouTube? Welcome to a brand new video. Today I'm finally going to be bringing you my gaming uh, setup, my command center. Uh, I have a lot of people been asking for this video uh, and uh, I, I actually recorded this back in um, like February or something. I wanted to wait like a, a month to make sure my computer worked. Recorded it and something happened with the footage, it got corrupted or something, so never got around to editing it or re-recording it. Uh, but since then I've actually upgraded it, I've put some new little toys and knickknacks here and there, so figured I might as well bring it to you now while I have time. So, so without further ado, here is the setup. Boosh. It's not the best. Oh, let me back up a little bit. Uh, there it is, there's the command center right there. Um, I kind of go over everything piece by piece. I will get to this, the actual PC last, because I have a lot of stuff to talk about that. I had a lot of issues uh, at first with this. So uh, we'll just start out uh, over here uh, with this nice little black shelf. So on the top, of course, you got the Xbox One, Xbox 360, uh, white controller. I got my two terabyte uh, external hard drive because I have like the, the week one edition of the Xbox. Oops. And um, I run out of space, it only has like 500, gig, 500 gigs, so bought this a couple weeks ago because I needed more space. Uh, over here I keep this fan for when it gets pretty hot, keep it cool, cool this down. Got my nice little penguin gamer guy, my little frog, I've had these guys forever. I won this guy to swim me a long time ago actually. Uh, nerds because I love nerds, one of my favorite candies. And then I found this actually a couple weeks ago, uh, first time I've ever seen a Coke bottle with my name on it. Uh, I don't like Coke Zero though, so I wish it was like something else, but yeah, keep that there just because it's kind of cool. Uh, all right, let's move down to the second shelf. Uh, down here, I got my games. Um, usually, I get mostly digital games except for all the Halo games. Um, I like, I just, I have all the Halo games from collecting them and whatnot, so, um, except I don't know where actually I have, I don't know where my Halo 1 game is. Uh, the original one. I never had an original Xbox though, so um, maybe I'll just have to buy a new one. But mostly I go digital except for Halo just because I like to collect them. Um, over here I got a couple controllers under this towel. This towel is what I use for my keyboard for my wrist when I get uh, my wrist gets sore from playing a lot. Uh, extra headsets, Uno, because you got to love Uno. Uh, I got an unopened Pikachu card and I got a Dragonite card, or excuse me, Dragonair card. <laughs> Wish. Uh, I got my external hard drive for my MacBook. That's what I used to put all my like vlogs and stuff on for my cruise. Uh, just extra memory for that. Uh, I got an extra mouse. And then this is uh, what I actually, one of the newest things, actually I think the newest thing now. Uh, I actually made a video about this a couple days ago, but I didn't like the way it turned out. So I'm just gonna do it here. I did like an unboxing video, but it didn't turn out well. Um, Let's see, I don't know if I can open this while I'm... I'm just gonna put you down. <laughs> I don't even care if it's dark. I don't care. Oh, hold on. Hold on. Okay. So, this is my Scuf Gaming Controller. Now, it's nothing too special. Uh, obviously, they have... Uh, you can get, uh, I guess, more modded ones. Not modded, but you can get more customized ones. Um, that look better and everything. I just went with an all black one. I thought it looked clean Plus it was a little cheaper just instead of getting all the colors blacked out the buttons uh, a couple things uh, the thumbsticks the uh, these uh, I went with the original Xbox default because I do like the way they feel um, a lot of people You know might get like a concave or a, a domed top or the longer ones uh, you can easily adjust these and take these out and I can I can get new ones and, and replace them if I want But I do just for now. I do like the original one. So I stuck with those. I got the d-pad thing makes it easier to hit the d-pad uh, I got trigger stops Which are pretty nice uh, the grip is nice as well, but the big thing is uh, with scuffs are the paddles on the back um, I really only needed two but there was a deal that came you got the four for free or whatever so Got the uh, got the paddles. I use the uh, back right one here. I guess this one. Uh, hold on. This one is uh, my jump. This is my uh, what do I use for? That? I think that's reload or something like that. Or maybe it's knife. This one's reload or knife. I don't know. Remember uh, the difference between these two. And then the other one, the big one for my right hand, is my crouch button. Um, it's nice, I really only use it for Call of Duty just because on Halo I use the uh, bumper jumper and that's pretty much 
all I need. So, um, or I guess I use the customized it for Call of Duty, but I can use it for really any game type. Plus, I have the remapping, uh, so I can switch any of these uh, triggers back here to any button I want, pretty much, if I want to. So that was nice. It was a little. Uh, I don't want to say pricey, but something I've wanted for a long time and just never really had the income to get it. So um, decided now that I have it and kind of complete the whole like gaming setup thing, I figured I'd get it while I, uh, I don't know, while, while I can. Uh, over here, I usually keep these up on top of here, but always got to have the Little Debbies on hand. Got the new red, white, and blue ones, the brownies and the cakes. Pumped about those. All right, uh, go down to the lower shelf now. It might be a little dark. Uh, you can still see. Uh, so I got my blue snowball and my uh, I got my blue snowball and my headphones boxes. I like to keep those just in case I travel or anything. They're nice to have. I uh, got my camera on deck just in case. Uh, that box right here is for this is this is just crappy quality right here. Hold on. Uh, this box right here, that's my scuff gaming box, that's what it came in. I got an extra controller in here, and then the headsets in here, the original, like, um, Xbox headsets. Bean boozled case, in case I ever want to do that. This is actually a sewing rule book under here, that I probably need to read at some point. And then I got all my GoPro stuff in here, mostly, mostly, mostly in this case, uh, which is pretty nice. Uh, and then back here, just a couple folders that have all my, like, parts and receipts and whatnot. Uh, which is pretty nice. Down here, I got my mix amp uh, box in case, like I said, in case I'm traveling or go anywhere. It's just nice to have some extra protection in case I need it. Up here, I got my uh, hard drive cases. Uh, and then in the back, you can't see it. Uh, it's my little Christmas tree I put up during the holidays. And then in these two Tupperware boxes, I keep um, like all my extra parts. I have uh, cables for the Xboxes, HDMI cables, um, camera parts, batteries, whatnot, uh, and I have them, I'll pull out a box here, for instance, I have the uh, box boxes labeled, um, so for instance, if I want to know where my connect is, I know it's in this box, some of my Elgato stuff's in here, I got a couple DVI cables, so I uh, keep them labeled just for organization, Keep comes in handy, all right, let me get back up real quick, uh, underneath, nothing impressive, um, I know it's a little dark, I have a flashlight somewhere, um, I know it's a little dark, but the cable management, it's not great. I don't really care about that as long, I mean, I, I cleaned it up a little bit, but nothing too special. Got the two uh, power uh, cables right here, whatever those are called. Uh, and then I got my base for my speakers down there. Uh, oh, there's a flashlight. Ugh. This was like my old, my brother's old desk when he used to game in here. Those are some extra parts in there for my PC. Um, we're going to get rid of this eventually. All right. Who the fuck is this? Why is there a guy in my yard? What the heck is going on? Oh, I'm gonna go check this out. There's there's literally a dude walking around my yard right now. I gotta go investigate. I'm doing laundry right now too. Oh, I'm like, are my dogs going wild? They're out back. What's going on? Where is he? Where is he? Those are, where, where the heck is he? What the heck? This is like breaking, this is like the best. Are my dogs following him around? It's like the best computer gaming setup ever. Like this is breaking news right here. Hey there Lombardi. This one come in. Hey, sir. Okay. He actually like scared me. All right. Well, I guess I guess that's that. All right. Back to the, uh, the setup. So, hey, you want to be part of this video? Yes, you do. Yes, you do. Okay. Bye, bye, sir. Come here, sir. Come here. Come here. Come here. Shut up, y'all. Hey there. Hey there. Oh, yes, you are a doggy. You are a doggy. Say hi to the YouTubes. Yes. Yes. Okay. Oh, yes, you are. You want to be okay? Okay. Goodbye. Bye-bye. Okay. All right. Back to the uh, the video now. We'll move this for now. 
Oh, uh, let me just give you a quick preview. I mean, like I said, it's nothing special, uh, but I zip tied them, uh, the cables together just to make it a little cleaner, but like I said, I don't really care too much. It's under the desk, you won't see it. Hey Lombardi, you wanna be part of the YouTubes too? Hey there, you're a big dog. You scare that guy away. Oh my God, this video is gonna be so long. I don't really wanna edit too much of this. All right, uh, so now we're on the top of the, of the desk. Uh, so we'll just start behind here. Basically, it's just cable management, not too special. I got the Green Bay Packer duct tape to kind of organize those. Uh, but these are my two uh, power bricks for the Xbox and One and 360. And then on here, uh, this is it. This is the uh, this is the uh, pretty much the command center where all the magic happens. So we'll start left to right, I guess. Uh, one of the newer things is my little plush Eevee. My favorite Pokemon is an Eevee, so picked this up a couple months like a month ago. Uh, love Eevee. So and then I got Pluto, favorite Disney character. Uh, my A40 is always nice. Got a cup holder or a coaster. I'm stupid. Uh, Blue Snowball. It's what I use to record audio. Um, my commentary. Actually, a pretty good pickup here. I got this about a, two years ago. Uh, for the price, it's actually a pretty nice uh, microphone. So if you're looking to get into, uh, if you're looking to make some commentaries, uh, but don't want to spend a ton of money on a nice microphone, I would recommend this. Uh, for a pretty basic USB powered uh, mic. I would definitely go with it. Uh, my mix amp, this is something I've always wanted. Uh, you can adjust the game and audio, voice audio uh, a lot um, to make it a lot cleaner and there's more uh, customization with it. Um, definitely like this, plus I can hear my computer audio if I'm gonna play music or something, I can hear that through my headsets now. Definitely something I wanted. Uh, my keyboard and mouse and mouse pad, my brother gave me. He recently upgraded and got a new keyboard and stuff. So he gave me his old one. Turns on and off, it's blue, um, but it's pretty nice. I was gonna get a new uh, a keyboard, but he let me get this, or gave me this one for free. So I figured I'd take it and I'll upgrade later if I want to. Uh, here I got my, uh, as you know, I'm a big Halo fan. I got my Warthog and my Scorpion tank. Little Hot Wheel action figure things, keep those on deck. Uh, back here, that's just a, a power thing for my Mac. Uh, 360 controller chargers, got my speakers. This is the uh, control for the volume and whatnot. Got my button for uh, in case I get pooped on or anything or something happens in Halo or video games in general. Hit this thing. Warning, warning, bullshit alert. And there's like three different, what do you want? You want me to pay you? Oh, you are a good dog. He likes his butt scratched, YouTube. Um, so there's like three different things on there, three different like, uh, voices recording. So, uh, that's nice to have. I got my Tesla Model S right here. Um, picked this up a couple months ago. I like Teslas. Uh, and then I got a Yingling bottle cap just cause I forgot to throw it away a couple days ago. Uh, I'm sorry I can't give you attention. I'm making a video. You're ruining it. Actually, you're not ruining it. You're, you're Big boy, okay. So, uh, <clears throat> monitors, they're Acer, uh, what do they call it? What? What? I know, I know, I know, okay. Uh, they're Acer, uh, I can't remember. Um, I'm gonna put all the links of everything, or at least try to if I remember in the description, in case you wanna check it out. But they, uh, the big thing with these is they have the FreeSync technology. Uh, and I'll get into that later, but they kind of sync up with my graphics card, so that's nice. Uh, and then I got my HD Logitech webcam up there, uh, just a nice little standard uh, webcam in case uh, you're wondering. All right, I accidentally hit the stop button, uh, but it's pretty much the uh, the standard webcam most people use, especially when they're starting out. I know the lighting's kind of bad just because it's light outside, the contrast isn't good. Uh, but it's HD, I would recommend. Uh, and then in case you're wondering, I do run Windows 10. Backgrounds, by the way, let me get into this. This is uh, Master Chief crossing the Delaware. <clears throat> and then this is uh, Baltimore, actually. We were out there uh, October running the marathon and the Blue Angels were there and the Domino Sugar thing's just like kind of one of the staple icons uh, for the city. And I got this really cool shot on one of my vlogs of the Blue Angels flying over it. So thought it was a neat background. The other one I use is a, uh... what are you? You're making me stop my video all the time. Stop it. You, you're being a bad boy. I'm trying to record a video. Bless you, okay? Okay, okay. You, need, you, need, you need to go while I make this video. I'm sorry, I love you. I love you. Okay.
Okay, so I do run. It keeps on making me like angry. So I do run the uh, the Stranger Things one. Actually, Debbie Gaming Stranger Things. I'll put that back up when it closer when it's closer to Halloween, just to uh, when it's closer to Halloween, just to uh, get ready for the uh, season two. Uh, but I do run Windows 10. I'm also uh, currently downloading Planet Coaster. Pumped about that. It's like an, a more modern version of Roller Coaster Tycoon. These are my only Steam games, by the way. I need to start playing more computer games. That's why I'm in. It's part of the reason why I build a computer. I'm just I'm mainly a console guy, preferably Xbox, mostly Halo. So uh, play. I dabble a little bit in CSGO. Not the biggest fan of it. King of the Kill, I need to start playing more because I actually have not played it yet. Uh, and then we were here, Aaron and I did a uh, Let's Play a couple months ago. It went up a couple weeks ago, the video did. Um, definitely a fun game if you have a friend that you want to play with. Okay, so now we get to the uh, the meat of the video. So this is my PC, uh, as you can tell. Let me start off with uh, this. This is just an adapter for my SD card and my micro SD card. Uh, so I can uh, transfer it to my computer which is uh, pretty nice, just an adapter. This is uh, when we get, Halo 3 got released, my brother and I uh, split the uh, for the uh, like collector's edition. This is just a book kind of going over like the weapons and the characters, kind of gives little fun facts about them. Um, just thought it was neat, so I kept it. Uh, but this is my computer. Nothing too standard with the, uh, nothing too uh, super about the case. I mean, it's a nice case, it's quiet. Um, has a couple fans that came with it already, which is nice. Uh, but it's just a black case, got a nice black matte finish. The front right here uh, opens and there's a little disc drive right there um, and whatnot. So that's, it's just a standard case. Uh, Fractal Design was the company. Let me get on the floor though and get the flashlight again, kind of shine into here. Um, so I'm gonna kind of go over basically everything. Before I do that though, I'm gonna kinda, of, I'll give you the story of kind of what happened when I was buying this computer. So when I first started purchasing the parts, my credit card company actually put my card on a fraud alert because they thought someone was stealing all this or buying all this stuff with a stolen card just because I'm buying all these like expensive parts, you know, at once. So I had to call them, say, yes, it was me that was buying them. You can, you know, do whatever, cancel it. Um, so pretty much they canceled all the orders and I had to rebuy everything except for the monitors. Um, so I actually ended up buying four monitors because I thought they canceled my order at first and they didn't. So I had four monitors show up one day, uh, but I was able to get those returned. Um, and then my motherboard, when I got that, um, found out it wasn't compatible with my CPU and my RAM. Uh, so I had to ship that back. And during shipment, it got damaged or something. So they wouldn't refund me. So I had to get a whole nother motherboard. Uh, and then also the CPU I got was damaged in shipping when it got here. So I had to ship that back. They were able to refund me and I got the new a new one. And then when I finally got everything together and put it in, it turned on, except nothing showed up on the screens. I took it in and found out that my RAM was damaged uh, and Geek Squad at Best Buy was able to hook me up uh, they had the same RAM there, so we just exchanged it. So they came in clutch. But it finally works. I just had a lot of mishaps. Uh, a lot of unfortunate stuff go on. Hey there, Star. Uh, but it works now. I just got unlucky. So we'll get into it. This is an Asus uh, R... No, Asus... Uh, uh, I don't know what motherboard is. I kind of forget everything. Uh, nice motherboard, though. Um... The RAM, I have 16 gigs, which I know is kind of a lot for uh, some people, but I think it's kind of more of a standard thing to get 16 gigs now. Plus, I use this a lot for editing and gaming, and we'll be using it a lot for other stuff in the future, so figured it'd be nice to get 16 gigs. Uh, I got a Corsair liquid cooler, um, which has not caused any issues yet. A lot of people were saying it's not the best thing to get, but I think it's done a good job so far. Uh, my graphics card right here is in Radeon, RX 480, I believe is the name of it. Uh, this is what I was talking about with the with my monitors. It has FreeSync technology, uh, so basically what that means is it syncs up with my monitors and they'll kind of work out everything and just update and as as I play or whatever with the best graphics and run smoothly. So it it is pretty nice. A lot of people are like, oh, you should go to Nvidia. That's like the the main thing, but. 
I had a friend that worked for AMD last year, and this was like their big thing that they made. It, it's a pretty nice product. Everyone's just like, NVIDIA is like the main thing. So I would recommend this graphics card. Uh, I think it's pretty nice. Down below it, uh, I have my Elgato Gaming Capture Card. That's what I use to stream if I ever stream, but it's mainly what I use to record my gameplay. Uh, and then you can see on the bottom right here, I just have my uh, power supply. I think I got 650 watts. It's a EVGA uh, Supernova, whatever. I don't know what that means. Uh, and okay, I'm back. I keep on hitting the stupid stop record button on the side of my phone. Um, anyways, and then I got uh, two, or I got one terabyte solid state and one terabyte uh, hard drive, uh, which I can always add more to if I need to. Um, but I do save a lot of my footage and whatnot in with, with the games and some of the programs. It's just nice to have some footage. So that is my computer. Um, like I said, I'll put all the descriptions in the uh, the the below or whatever um, in the description below. Nothing. It's nothing too special. I mean, it's a it's a powerful computer. Let me get back off the floor now. It's a powerful computer. And uh, oh. Another thing, my chair, I've had this chair since like sixth grade. This is probably the next thing I'm gonna upgrade just because I can feel like the uh, the, the supports and whatnot in my butt and it's starting to be uncomfortable. Plus the lock doesn't really work. This is broken, so I just need to upgrade this. It's, you know, it's time. Um, but yeah, the computer, it runs it runs well. It, it wasn't like cheap, but it wasn't like a really expensive one. And you know, I wanted to make a nice computer right off the bat because I know I'm gonna be using this a lot <clears throat> so and like I said I've had this since January it's currently April or excuse me May 19th um, so it's run perfectly so far uh, you know nothing nothing too crazy so um, thank you guys for watching like I said I'll put the uh, descriptions and parts if I remember and can find them again in the description so you can see um, but that's gonna do it so thank you guys for watching um, hopefully that guy doesn't come in in my house and kill me and whatnot. I got my guard dog right here though. So we're good to go. Uh, again, thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.